Today we'll be solving for x in the equation, negative 4 over x plus 1 minus 7 equals 2x plus 1. There's only one denominator here that is x plus 1, so we're going to multiply both sides by x plus 1 to make sure that cancels out. When we distribute it to both of our terms on the left, in that first term, it will cancel out completely with the denominator and leave us just with a negative 4. And then on the second term, we need to distribute that negative 7 to it. On the right, we have to FOIL this out. So first outer, inner, last. Now on the left, we have to distribute that negative 7 to both terms. And on the right, we're going to combine those two x terms, 2x and x, to make 3x. Now we have negative 7x minus 11 equals 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now, in order to factor this quadratic, we want to get 0 on one side. So we're moving the 7x and the 11 to the right. So 0 equals 2x squared plus 10x plus 12. Now, each of these coefficients has a factor of 2, so if we just go through and divide by 2, we'll get something simpler, x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, the factors of 6 that will make 5 are positive 3 and positive 2, so we have x plus 3 and x plus 2. Solving each of these for x, we get x equals negative 3 or x equals negative 2. Now, we need to check to see if either of these solutions are extraneous, so how to do that is we're going to plug our value back into our equation everywhere we see an x. So now we have negative 4 divided by negative 2 minus 7 equals negative 6 plus 1. We can't move anything across the equal sign, so we're just going to keep working this out. And we get negative 5 equals negative 5. This is true, so negative 3 is a, a solution. Doing the same thing with negative 2, we're going to plug it back into our equation. We get negative 4 over negative 1. Minus 7 equals negative 4 plus 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. And this gives us negative 3 equals negative 3. This is true. So both of these are solutions. We have our solution x equals negative 3 or x equals negative 2.